Right, so I've just got off the boat. I'm cycling down, I don't know what the name of this road is. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get lost at some point. I'm gonna have to stop. But, uh, well, Jersey to Asia. There's France. Just thought I'd show you this because I'm about an hour and a half, two hours into cycling. And I know that I need to get onto D74. You can't get to up there, so keep following this road and see if I can find another route, otherwise I'm gonna end up lost again, but check that later. Alright, still day one. <laughs> Not had a single puncture on this bike since I've had it. And I'm going down the road and both of them are basically gone. I've just blown them back up to see, but and you can see on the back one, Beautiful. Oh, and an ambulance just went past and shouted something at me at French because I've been going down the moat wall, a dual carriageway the whole time from St. Marlo. I thought it was all right on dual carriageways, but we obviously thought not. But it might be time to try and look for some food somewhere out of camp for me, I think. So, So this isn't even funny. I have been picked up by the Glen Marine or whatever they're called, taken off the motorway after already getting lost, finding the dual carriageway, and now I've got out, and because I had two flat tires before, I've just finished fixing the first one when they turned up, um, and basically I have left my pump where they picked me up from, and he's just said he's gonna go and get it, but if he doesn't, that field may be home, but I don't know if you can see over there, there's a little spa somewhere around here, so hope for the best. first day um, I'm about 10 kilometers outside of Wren um, and what a first day it's been um, I've just got my tent up now it's in the worst place possible you could put a tent like it's woodland outside but um, I literally have been cycling for about 10 miles and I've just been looking for somewhere and everywhere on the side of the road. Um, obviously the, uh, the nice policeman came back and gave me my pump, so you know, there was hope still for, for them yet, but um, you yeah, know, I was waiting there for about 15 minutes and I thought, well, I'm gonna go in a minute. Sorted out the front tire, put it back in, because like, it was a double puncture, and then he, tur he came, turned up, and I was like, sound. And then I seen that uh, sign for the spa, cycled all the way up this hill and then couldn't find it but I went into this town and managed to find it so this is what is going to be keeping me going, some ravioli and 
milky bar in France, which is called Galac. Tastes quite nice though. But yeah, so I've uh, been an eventful day. I'm tired um, and I'm rearranging my entire bag because even the guy that took me off the uh, thing said he, could, like, he picked it up to put it in the van and he was just like, he couldn't speak much English but he just was like, oh, you're strong and I was just like, my back because it was killing me by that point and then set me off riding up a hill but oh well, this is my first night in the tent eh? Alright, morning, day two, was it a bad night, it took me a while to get off and I used all the battery on my laptop, so I think it was raining last night, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I think I really need to spend a bit more time looking for somewhere because I was just paranoid that I was that was going to come down and I was going to get a mouthful of French from the guy in the house over there. But yeah, I'll show you um, exactly where I am once I've brought out my lovely sleeping bag. But not not too bad for a first night. It could have been a lot worse considering the day that I had. So. Yeah, ciao for now. Alright, now that I'm up, uh, I can show you what a lovely start it is today. Can't even see the road. There's my bike though. Um, proper foggy. I mean, it's like, if it was like this yesterday when I wouldn't even got on the boat, I think, but. So yeah, a nice wet foggy start to the day, somewhere near Wren. That's my tent, and those are them boxes. It can make me look a bit weird to those, those people over there, they decide to come over here, but... <sighs> right, I'm in a little village called... Um, I don't even know what it's called now. Asinho, or something like that. Um, and... I woke up this morning and thought one bottle of juice was going to last me all day, which is obviously a stupid idea. Um, so two hours of cycling, I was here and I seen, you know, an elderly couple gardening. Um, so I said parlez vous anglais. No, 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 no. I started going off in French and then uh, she just marched me across the road to her friend's house and her friend was like right when I told her I was cycling and I asked her if there was anything open around here on a Sunday uh, she just said no no come in come in um, um, so yeah I went in and had bread and some ham um, a cup of coffee and I, was t I couldn't believe it, so I told them about my little challenge and that. But I was just, c you, would, if you would not get that in Jersey. Like someone that hardly spoke English turned up, but because I was on a bike, it's like accepted, if you know what I mean. And you know, she gave me bananas, yogurts to take with me and that. And I thought, fair play, you legend, you know? And because she said, you know, there's nothing, the only, the only thing you find open is something in rent. I've gone past Ren now, so I'm not going back there just to get something to eat. But I kept, went down the road, and their little local corner shop happened to be open. I spoke to the guy there, and got some choppy bars. But, yeah. Okay, um, I am somewhere called Chateauberg, on my way to Angers. And first football pitch I've come across and it's worse than the old Springfield but it's still a football pitch so um, I'm thinking when I get there I'm gonna have to think rethink um, how I'm gonna do this like 
because my bag is starting to really do my back in. Um, I'm having to stop every sort of hour just to have a five minute, ten minute rest. But so front panniers might be uh, on the cards, but oh well. So yeah, you might be able to see the windmill in the background as well. Right, um, this is what I'm going to call home for the night. Um, it's not too bad around here. I'm not going to start a fire tonight because of all the trees that's around. But I'm going to have a little wander. But you've got the D95 up there, where it'll come from, which isn't even on my map. So it's like, ah, oh, what a day I've had, honestly. I'm just going for a walk now to see what's around there because I'm sure I heard voices when I was putting the tent up. Um, yeah, I was ready to give up today and then just meeting that friend. I don't even know her name. I don't, I don't even know her name. She only found out my name as I was leaving. Um, I think I'm next to a Christmas tree farm. <laughs> well, I can't see any houses around there. The other thing that I think was quite weird, I've got to be quick because there's, I haven't got much uh, space on my phone because my laptop's now dead as well. <sighs> yeah, I was ready to give up today. I was just like, fuck this. Excuse my French. But, you know, I knew that they were quite like, um, you know, they don't open on Sundays and stuff, but I thought, you know, I'll find somewhere even if it's like a pub going there, you know. I don't know what I was thinking, but it didn't happen, obviously. And then, yeah, that woman just brightened my day and made me think I'm doing this for a reason. I've only done like 30 miles according to my app that isn't working properly because I still don't have a SIM card. I sort of got out some Marlowe as quick as I could and really I, just because I knew well there was about 30 people on the boat that were over there for a birthday or something and I just couldn't be bothered bumping into any of them and uh, yeah so I left there thinking I'd find somewhere that would you know I could get a sim card and that from no nope. so tomorrow I'm gonna buy a sim card and some cutlery because chocolate bars and drinking yoghurt isn't the best dinner but right I'll check back later alright morning everyone day three um, it was colder last night than it was the night before probably because no cloud cover um, so I've got a nice build up of condensation on the outer layer of my tent but the sun's up so I'm going to uh, wait for the sun to do its magic and then head off down the road to Le Gerche de Breton and from there I'm going to go shopping get SIM card, get batteries maybe try and find somewhere to charge my laptop um, and then, well, unrealistically, I'd like to be in Angers today. I'm probably going to end up just outside it, maybe. But at least I know if I'm near it that I can get up in the morning and go to a hostel. Because my legs are aching, my shoulders are aching, my back's aching. I just need a rest. But, oh well, we'll see how it goes. Ciao for now. Right, um, a little bit longer to get to um, Le Gerche de Breton than I thought. I was actually like nine miles away from it, so it's taken me an hour and a half to get here. I managed to find um, a couple of bakeries, not more patisserie, um, that are open, but I've got no batteries and 
I've got about 29% left on this, so I thought, right, I'll try the pharmacy. And I swear the timing is over here. It's like Sunday, you may as well forget it. It's a ghost town, literally, France. You won't see hardly anyone about. And then 12 o'clock till 2, they all just go home. <laughs> so there's a Super U that's on the way to Nantes, apparently, but. It's, apparent, it's about a kilometre outside of where I am now, so I don't want to, I've been cycling around and around looking for somewhere to get a drink, and so I found a drink, but I don't know if it was worth going, trying to find that super you, but I'll check back later. saddle saw is the easiest way of putting it um, I'm carrying too much stuff I mean I'm looking I've just pulled it all out and I'm just thinking I don't need that don't need that don't need that then I didn't know until I've come here so um, you know what I mean I was I thought to myself right I'll set up a tent just outside of um, Creon because that's what sorry I'm in Creon um, and couldn't find anywhere and then my phone ran out of battery my iPod's been dead all day my laptop was dead um, like as I said before I bought all them batteries um, and well put it this way eight batteries gave me a 3% charge on my phone so it just goes to show you do get what you, what you pay for I know with the Duracell Ultra ones that I was using that was giving me like a 30-40% just off two, so um, it's been just a wake up call, I think is the best way of putting it. Um, and now that I'm fully aware of what I'm up against, it's just like, but it's exciting at the same time. Um, I wasted a lot of time yesterday, which, you know, it's put me back a day, two maybe. Um, I don't think I've been very uh, logical saying that I could do like 45 miles. I can do 45 miles, but not when I'm carrying the amount of kit that I've got. I mean, the paneer bags alone probably weigh about 30, 40 key. Bag on my back, another 30 key. Tent, another 5 key, and it's just like, honestly. So I'm having a good night's sleep because this bed feels lush, um, and I'm gonna get. I've seen an F SFR thing down there. Get a sim, get a sim card, and that sort of tomorrow. But I'm gonna have a shower now. So good night. Right. So day four. I had a nice rest um, last night. I needed it. I think. Um, uh, I cycled about 10 miles, um, which took me past the 100 mark, I'm according to my phone, but I wouldn't go by that. <coughs> um, I'm currently on the outskirts of Seg, or Segre, 
um, trying to get to Angers and I, there's a, I've just come to a junction and there's a, a dual carriageway and I know that I'll get thrown off it if I go on it so I'm sort of trying to plan my route but I think I'm going to have to go into the city centre of Segre but that's going to put me back an hour or two you know so oh well we'll see how I get on eh right just asked some guy and he doesn't think there is one it's only the dual carriageway which if I'm right is only 10 15 kilometers so another 10 miles um, so and that should take me to Le Lyon d'Angers um, let's just hope I don't get kicked off the motorway or dual carriageway again otherwise I'm gonna get lost again but right let's try and get this done <sighs> right end of day four what an interesting day um, basically uh, where did I last speak to you um, that was it wasn't it I couldn't get onto a road um, I found a little road next to it so took that um, hammered out a load of miles and then well actually just after the video um, I had had enough with the bag on my back so I basically put my bag across my panniers, tent on top of that and a bungee cord over it, the whole lot looked bloody ridiculous took about half an hour to get used to but it was bliss to have that weight off my back it was just so easy, so much easier I couldn't believe how easy it was um, so yeah, so I was coming down the road and then ended up on the dual carriageway like at the moment I'm about 25, well, 20, 25k from Angers, so it's, you know, morning cycling um, but yeah uh, basically the bag like, sort of fell off um, and the bungee cord snapped and I was like do you know what I mean it was just, I just thought, what am I going to do and then I remembered, right I've got a spare strap for the tent so I'll use that till I get to Angers because I am going to sort sort this out. I'm not carrying any weight on my back anymore. It's just the bottom of my spine today is killing me. It's like, you know, I've taken painkillers and that for it, but it's killing me. Um, so I came off the dual carriageway across the road and um, went into this, well, I've seen a sign for something. Um, came in here, straight away a dog ran up to me, and then about four kids, hang on a minute, one, two, three, four kids, then the mother, none of them speak English, um, but I've spent the evening playing on the PlayStation, so, it's alright, it's just, it's crazy how, um, you know, we had a game of football before as well, and you know I don't speak that much French at all but it's, it's, I, I came to France thinking oh, everyone's going to speak English you know um, it's like a worldwide language but if you come across someone that does speak English it's actually quite rare so yeah it's been a good day I mean they're really friendly um, you know so Here's to another night in the tent, but yeah, tomorrow on shares, I might actually, because I'm sort of, I'm, I don't well, I mean, I lost a day when I was, you know, uh, dancing around um, Wren, but um, I seem to be making time, good time now, so I might have two days in Angers just to give my back a rest and you know, have a nice rest because I still haven't actually uh, you know had a decent rest it was like last night yeah 
I slept in a nice bed. You know, I didn't stop cycling until half six, and then up again this morning, cycling from like eleven till half five. So yeah, we'll see what tomorrow's got in store for me. But ciao for now. Hello everyone. Um, I have. Uh, just cycled for about an hour, so I'm now um, in a town called Avril. Avril. Um, it is baking. I mean, I can feel my arms burning, right? But people are walking around with jumpers. That guy's giving me a funny look for talking to a phone. But, um, yeah, I've probably got. Well, this is the reason why I've stopped um, my phone is dead um, so I stopped to charge it and uh, just so I could show you that basically I'm cycling at the moment on uh, tram lines oh, my tyres went into them before um, I just think it's crazy because it's like I've taken a headphone out because I don't want to get run over by a tram. But um, yeah, sound. So found my medication as well, which is a good thing. Um, you know, I was really worried about that. Um, turns out that it must have just fallen out of one of the pockets. So um, happy days on that front. Um, God, those that family was crazy. It was just like spending 12 hours with people that not you, you just don't understand what they're saying. They live in caravans um, and never give your iPhone to a six-year-old and expect everything to be how it was. Like I gave it to him this morning. Said you know, quick uh, putty and. Uh, you know, I don't didn't want him using all my battery, and he drained it before I left. And he's used <laughs> all my Smurf berries on my little Smurfs game, which has taken me about two months to gather all of them because I was saving them up for something. But it was nice just to be around, you know, a nice friendly atmosphere. And like I said last night, you know, um, but he broke my glasses as well, so. I have to invest in a new pair when I get to shares, I think. But um, this is the bike, how I've got it set up now. Um, it looks ridiculous, but it's better than having that bag on my back. But so, jackets. But I can feel my arms burning. Crazy. All right, anyway. Before I start rambling, I'll uh, give you an update when I get, get to uh, my hostel. Right, I'll do this now. Um, basically, this is my hotel room for the night. I'm not very happy about it. I've ended up having to pay uh, like 60 euros because the one that I planned on staying in hasn't got any room tonight. So, I'm going to stay here and then go to the other one tomorrow morning because I've still, well, I, I'm literally now, I'm wearing shorts. I mean, it is hot enough in the daytime, right, but like, I've actually sunburnt my arms. I don't know if you can see, like, the white, different because I've been wearing gloves, like, um, you know I mean, it is warm, it's getting up to, like, 20-odd degrees, but, um, yeah, so, not a bad day. Um, once again, it's just, you think you're going the right way and then you see like signs for somewhere and I don't want to go on the motorway. So I'm trying to avoid them and every time I try and avoid them, I end up on them anyway. So it took me a little bit longer. My app just didn't work today at all. So I bought a, a French SIM card. Um, but can't get that to work at the moment either. It was like, I was so happy when I seen that sign saying on chair. And now I'm here, I'm just like, ugh. 
I mean, worrying, but the weather looks good, so see what happens tomorrow.